Hello, Jane Faze here from Sydney, Australia. Well, it has been a while since I've updated my magazine image transfer um, videos on YouTube and on Instagram with a, a talking explanation of how I do the process. So this is a beautiful image and I thought I would just put the video on and talk you through my process. So the first thing is a good quality magazine. I like Vogue um, of Italy, UK, British, um, Australia, France. Uh, they all are very high quality print. Uh, what you're looking for is a high contrast image. So this is a good one. Um, also this one. So, um, yeah, you can really see the detail in it. But I think I will give this one a go. And I really like it, so I hope it's a good one. Not all of them work, so don't think that every one I do uh, is 100% perfect. But I just thought I'd talk you through that anyway. We're go I'm going to have to cut that out when I use the image. I'm going to put it onto tissue, art tissue. Um, so just talking through, I've got an 8 by 10 gel plate. Uh, I use a speedball uh, soft brayer, which I highly recommend. Um, most of my uh, image transfers are using the Amsterdam black in oxide black. Uh, but there are many others that are suitable and lots of people use them. Uh, one of my favourites at the moment is Green Black in the Atelier range. Um, but I don't want to um, use green for this image transfer. So I've got my 8x10 plate. I've got a clean, dry brayer. And I've got a bit of cardboard here that I wipe off or roll off some excess paint. And over at the side, I have a bowl of water. And I have a hairdryer, so I know that's unpopular, um, but I do use a hairdryer to dry the image on the plate and to dry the paint. And the um, oh, the other thing I use is Liquitex Matte Medium, and that's what I use to pull the print, but I'll talk about that in a moment. So let's get going. I will put... A small amount of the black paint on the plate covering the whole thing and I don't count the number of strokes I do but I do an awful lot of strokes really evening it out and making sure that there's no lines on the plate caused by the edge of my roller. So back and forward, back and forward, getting lighter. Uh, you don't want to take all the paint off. But in process, I'm also working out, because the image is bigger than my plate, I don't want the writing at the top. Um, so I'm just working out as I'm doing this, which section of the image I want to place on the plate. So it's getting nice and thin and even, getting very light with my strokes, especially in the middle where her face will be, but I don't want it to dry out too much. Let's see how we go there. So I want to get rid of that writing. And just ease it down. We're getting rid of any air bubbles, hopefully. That's a bit of a tricky part of it. Really make sure you've got good contact, not too long. And then pulling that off. It's quite dark, but I think that's okay. We haven't got any um, we've got quite a few little air bubbles but I don't mind those on the side and but her face seems quite clean as I said it, it is quite dark but um, I think that should still work quite nicely so I'm just going to pop my black 
paint brayer into a bucket of water and I've now got the one I use for my Liquitex matte medium. And this is where I just dry it slightly, excuse the noise. I know using a hairdryer is unpopular and the manufacturers of the gel plate don't recommend it um, and a lot of people say they just wait for it to dry I can't I'm not that patient and to be honest I'm not sure many others are either I'm sure a lot of people use a hairdryer but they just don't um, necessarily put that on their videos so I'm pretty sure that that's dry enough now I've been careful I've got the setting on very low. I have my hands there all the time to make sure I don't get any extra heat on that gel plate. Yes, it could melt with uh, extreme heat, but as I said, I'm always very, very careful and I just use a low setting on a hairdryer. So I'm going to use an art tissue. Um, so that's gonna sit at the side here. And I'm now just going to put a layer of the matte medium on and roll that on. It's not as important to uh, get the thinnish layer. I mean, you do. You don't want to waste all your matte medium. Um, and it doesn't seem to matter if you've got a couple of lines in this as much. So... I find that pulling it onto tissue means that you've got a lot more uses for your image than I can use it in a collage. Okay, one more. As you can see, I'm very careful, go over and over and over. And now laying down my tissue, catching it on the front edge there, and then laying it down very carefully and slowly easing out any creases and air bubbles okay that's gone down quite nicely there's a little crease there hopefully that won't affect her eyes too much it's really important not to get creases especially near their eyes there is a little one there so hopefully that won't um, inhibit the black paint coming off onto the tissue so again you could dry it naturally if you're patient enough but again I just bring in the hair dryer just to uh, dry that matte medium onto the tissue excuse the noise like to do my videos in real time not jumping uh, not edited so that you actually get a good feel of how long the process takes so that's feeling good now let's take it off so her eyes are lovely and I think the tones in her skin are good yes there are a couple of uh, creases but that's caused by the tissue just slightly uh, expanding from the moisture of the matte medium so I'm really happy with that image um, I will tear off that device that's there I'll get rid of the text and then be able to tear that up and use it in a collage so there you go. Um, that's my um, an updated video of just my process of doing a magazine image transfer. Thanks for watching.